It's a picture-perfect night for soccer to make its return to Com Avenue as Boston University starts out their season at home hosting the Michigan State Spartans. Maybe that's a mentality that the Terriers have to try and adopt here as Weber sends it toward the 18. Evans looking to turn and a great save from Faye. Diving slightly to her left, her real first test, and she's tall to it. Helferty, one against one, steps over in the box. Lays it across for the trailer, the shot, and what a save by Kozel. It's part of the reason why it's nil-nil. Look out, here comes Evans in alone, and Faye comes out to deny her. Here's Kennedy playing it to her right. The strike from distance off the top crossbar, and coming back to help is Kozel to poke it over the net. Through the midfield. Alfredi drills it in, put on a tee for Sagmo. Couldn't get a whole lot on it, and the return just goes by the post and in! And that's how the Terriers score their first goal of 2019. Edge of the box. Crosses it in, back door, another post! This one from Sagmo, still loose. Dangerously, it falls in over the bar. Waits for reinforcements, it's McKenna Kennedy. Good turn for her. She'll shoot it, and another save from Kozel. Little over five minutes to go. Spartans trying to equalize. The header is good! Paige Weber elevating over everybody. Headed out of the box. The second offering tipped, and what a diving stop by Faye. She somehow corrals it on the second effort off the double deflection. Long ball, onside's play as Faye comes in and it's poked in. Michigan State wins it in double overtime. Here at Nickerson Field after the home opener for BU Women's Soccer with head coach Nancy Feldman. I'm Dana Gray. Nancy, thanks for taking the time with us. You obviously, you knew that going into this non-conference schedule, you scheduled a very difficult slate for a reason. Results like tonight may happen, but what can your group take from playing a really good Big Ten opponent like the Spartans? Yeah, well, we're getting, we're getting better. Every game we've made progress, and I thought um, for some of the game, most of the game, we played the way we want to play, and um, I think the game that we need to play to be successful, uh, it got away from us a little bit, and I think just lose, lost our poise and composure and got a little frantic, and you know, and then it's athlete against athlete, and they have some really good athletes, they have some really good players, but um, we got away from playing the game we wanted to play, and um, what I think when we imprint our style, and we've done that more and more consistently in the last couple of games, um, and I think that's you know that's what we're getting better at. But um, you know we're disappointed tonight. Uh, um, it's one we really should have had, um, but it's a learning experience, and we'll take what we learned and we'll bring it to the next game. We're certainly not going to get used to uh, not getting wins. And you score your first goal of the season. A lot of positives to take out of it. How about the play of your goalkeeper as well, Amanda Fay there in the net? She looked really, really solid, making some desperation saves and also handled a lot of cross as well. Yeah, we've got two good goalkeepers that have been playing games. We have three good goalkeepers. Emma Heil hasn't gotten on the field yet. Um, and um, we're getting great goalkeeper play. Uh, that, that's certainly not uh, been an issue. Uh, if we didn't hit so many crossbars, we'd have more goals. <laughs> That is certainly true. Thanks so much for the time, Coach, and best of luck the rest of the way. Thank you very much.